Do you have an event coming up, a reading, or maybe even a book launch? You want to get the word out to as many people as possible, and Microsoft Publisher helps you do that beautifully, without a lot of fuss. I'm Joni Stangland, and I'm here at Richard Hugo House in Seattle because I want to show you how you can use Publisher to make a flyer that's like this that you can send to all your friends who don't have email, and then you can turn this same file into an email message that you can send to everyone else. Let's get going. I'm going to start by making the flyer that I want to print out and send to people in mail. So I have Publisher open and I'm going to come over here and click Flyers. Now I can see the flyer templates and I'll click Brocade and then I'll click Create. Now the first thing that I want to do is to put my own picture in here. So I'm going to select this and press Delete. Then I'll come over here and click the Picture Frame command and click Picture from File. And then I can draw my picture frame. Click the picture that I want and click Insert. Now my picture's in here but it doesn't look quite the way I want it to so I'm going to click the arrow next to Free Rotate and click Rotate Left 90 degrees. That's more like it. I can even make it bigger. Now I have my lovely picture, but it doesn't quite match my color scheme here, so I'll change the color scheme. I'll click Color Schemes, and here I have a lot of colors to choose from. See, I want something kind of pink. I'll click Cherry. I like Cherry, but I don't like the red text so much, so I'm going to change that. I'll come down here and click Create New Color Scheme and I'll click the arrow next to the red and let's see, I think I'll click light blue and click save. Now because I'm going to be sending this in email also I want to be sure I have a font that will work well in email so I'm going to click font schemes let's say I could try Verdana uh, maybe not today, I could try Ver Georgia Bold and I think I'll go with that Next, I want to get rid of some of these extra text boxes. So I just click them. And see, this is an extra picture box. Get rid of that. And I think I'll take this one and move it over here. And I'll make this one bigger. Now I'm ready to put my information in. I'll start with the name of the event. And let's see, I want to have my uh, readers who will be reading at the event, so I'll add them right here. My all important when and where information. And I also thought that I'd just add a little line or two from a poem just to kind of get people's interest. And I'll put that here. All the information is in, and it's a little too small to read, so we're going to change that. I'll start with the name of the event, I'll select it, and I'm just going to make it bigger. And I'll also make this text box bigger so that it fits on one line. And for the names of the readers, I think I'll make them 14. I'll make them bold. Now my when and where information, I can make that 12. And I'll make the quote 12 also. And I'll make it italic. And again, I'll just increase the size of this text box so that the two lines fit on two lines. Now my flyer is ready to print. And if I want, I can see a preview of it. That looks pretty good. And after I print it out, then I can also send it an email. I'll come up here and I'll click File and point to Send Email send as message. Now I could use email merge, but that's a subject for another day. Instead, we'll just send it as a message. And I have zero potential issues here, so that's good. So I'll come up and I'll put my email address in the to box. And then down here in BCC, I'll put the email addresses of everyone I want to send it to. That way they won't see this big chunk of names at the top of the message. And if you don't see BCC, you can reach it from this option. See, it's not showing. You want it to show BCC. And I'll put my subject. And 
and my message is ready to send. That's a fast way to do a nice job of getting the word out, and it gives you more time to keep writing. 